So in this video, we're going to talk about tags. So metadata that is attached to your content that helps you search for content uh, in a much faster and convenient way than folders and routing through a folder hierarchy. So I'm going to talk about uh, a couple things. I'm going to talk about how tags get added to your avail environment and how to edit them. So let's start with indexing content. So in order to get content into a veil manually, it's pretty simple. You can go into your folder hierarchy and decide what you want to drag in. So if I go into my families and let's say I want to pull in this windows folder, anything in that, in that folder, I'll just drag it over. And what it's going to do is it's going to take me through a set of steps and it's going to ask me what file types I want to bring in. If I want to filter anything, and here's what I want to get to, which is adding tags to this with this um, process. So you can add them in a bulk manner to the entire folder. So if I just want to say this is new content, I can add that and that tag will be attached to all the files that come in from that folder. And I really want to bring your attention to this checkbox down here. So this checkbox is there for you to bring in your folder names as tags. And so we understand that you've probably spent a lot of time with your naming convention, creating your folder hierarchy and constructing that. And we don't want any of that work to go to waste. So you can bring in those folder names as tags. So right off the bat, it's pretty simple to get a good amount of tagging in on that content when you're bringing it in manually. So you're gonna hit down and it's gonna bring it in. I'm not gonna do that because that content's already in this channel. And when you bring in all that content, it's going to end up, your filters panel is going to look up something similar to this. Now, some of this is customized to our demo, um, but this is going to be what your filters panel will look like. So those tags that I added manually will be here. The folder names will come in as keywords. And the next place I want to talk about where tags come from is our file type handler. So we have file type handlers, um, especially for Revit. With Revit content, we can pull out parameters and you can make those uh, some of your tags and filters. You can choose. We would default to some of the most important ones, but you can add however you'd like um, to those tags. So that's another way. And again, what we're trying to do here is make it as easy as possible for when you bring in content for tags to come along with it. And some of that is automated. Some of that is not. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you want a really great search environment, you're going to need these metadata and tags to be in your environment uh, for your team. So those are three ways right there. So again, to recap, it's when you bring the content in, you can add them in a bulk manner. You can bring in the folder names and we have file type handlers. Fourth way is manually here. So you can select any content you want. You can right click on it and you can add tags. So again, I can just add, let's say, new content. I'm going to click OK. And whenever I need to find that, that has been added. And that's going to show up. That's the fourth way. Um, and then the fifth way is an automated tool that comes with our enterprise package called Stream. And so Stream is an automation tool that publishes content based on a set of rules into a veil. So you basically monitor a folder or a portion of your drive with stream and any new content that hits that portion of your network will automatically get uploaded, indexed rather into a veil with the correct tags and into the channels that you want it to go into. So tagging is pretty straightforward. There's several ways to do it. There's automated ways, there's manual ways, um, but I wanted to lay out those four specific or five specific ways rather um, that content gets into avail. Now let's say you want to edit tags. If you go over here to the left, if you're a publisher, this will be shown. And this is all of the tags in this Revit 2019 channel. And if I want to edit some of these, it's really pretty simple. So we brought in those folder names. And again, those are going to come in as keywords. And so as you begin to edit some of this stuff, you can say, well, these are all classes. So let me just take off 
and edit these here. And you'll kind of get what I'm doing here. I'm really just cleaning this data up. Okay, so I did that and then I can multi-select these keys. I can edit them and I can just say, these are classes. Let's put class, I'm gonna click okay. And I have now edited those key value pairs and they are gonna show up down here in the filters panel. Here they are. And you can drag these up to the top and show them. Here's another cool thing to notice is right now I'm showing eight keys. You can see their key value pairs. And if I wanna show nine, because I just added that one and it's important for my team, I just come over here, click nine. Now, when I go to this channel, you're gonna see that that is now here. So that was pretty easy to add those. It's pretty easy to clean that data up. Um, and I wanted to make sure that you understand how to edit these tags in this filters panel, because our view on this is contextual search. In order for search to be effective, it can't be based on location. That's not very scalable. Your designer should never have to worry about where content is. They should just be thinking about contextual clues about the content, and they should be able to filter down very quickly to find that content without needing, again, worry about where it is. So that's what I wanted to cover in this short video. Thanks for watching.